and welcome back. It's your boy, aka Hale Male. You are now watching AK Debris on YouTube. So, for the sake of monetization, the first one minute, I'm gonna be nice. So, let's get to it, man. A lot of a lot of very nice black people care about <laughs> they they care about the wrong things. Let's just say that instead of fighting an industrial prison system, for example, you know the one that turned. <laughs> I don't gotta tell you. Instead of doing things towards the problem that we all know we got, right? <laughs> Problems, you know, pick which. Every day you could do one. You got a lot of them. You know, black on black crime, um, self hate, uh, <laughs> misrepresentation, uh, you know, crab in a bucket mentality. I can go on for days. Right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, we get a lot of them. It's a lot. I can go on. Instead of picking, you know, at that uh, assortment of problems that you got, nice assortment, you know, a little cocktail, if you will, your problems be always things that are different assortments. So one of the problems out of these different sermons is me using the N-word. Like you from Arabia, you don't use the N-word. This is stupid. I decided I'm going to educate you today. Once and for all. Might as well, right? Got a haircut? No. Now here's the first thing first. Let's get something squared away right away. They try to say I'm not black, right? I claim Arabia for a reason. I'm really from Sudan, born in Sudan. Not raised there at all, raised in Arabia. So I'm not an original Arabian. I don't go back to any of them tribes. I'm not Arabian Arabian, but I claim them. Even if they don't claim me. Even if they don't have um they're so like, um, how can I say, Arabians for Arabians, you know, stay out. They got that mentality. But here's the thing, bro. Even if they believe that I am not Arabian, I shouldn't claim them. I cannot erase my whole uh, uh, childhood, uh, adolescent years. I can't erase it. You're not Arabian. You don't get a paper. So what? I just... Put that in the recycling bin? Should I put it in papers or, or plastic, you think? Motherfucker. So I'm really from Sudan. And I'm about to tell you how just how black I am, stupid. Sudan is an African country. Black people, all day. Especially South Sudan. You know, the newest country in the world. Because you can't put two niggas in, in, in. Two niggas can't even get along in one country. I don't claim Sudan for many reasons. Here's a few that are relevant. I hate to mention my auntie every video, but I gotta mention her. Sudan is a country that, if I claim, like, look at Americans. That's not very American. You gotta be American. I'm an American. Do, 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 do. America. Uh, yeah. Oh, America, can't you see? With all the 
shit they got. They got a sense of like look at look at Brittany Griner. Fuck racism, fuck all that. Brittany Griner. Sudan never gave a fuck about one of her citizens. Did you know they're at war right now? Not with somebody else. Same. <laughs> Sudan versus Sudan. Of course you ain't heard about it. Part of the reason you ain't hear about it, which is why I don't claim them, is they don't give a fuck about their own. My auntie, a female, stood up to the dictatorship, wrote papers, and fought a fight that all these real Sudani men were mad. They were too pussy to fight it. A female did what they should have done. Instead of honoring her after she got sacrificed, pretty much, for them, did they appreciate that? Did they honor that? They build her a statue. Did they, did they build her a statue, or did they name a street after her? I tell you what they did. In her funeral days, because they feared being, you know. They feared the same dictatorship. They didn't even show, you know, I'm sorry for your loss, nothing. It's like a fuck you. 30 years that man sat on top of you. You ain't said shit. YouTube team, excuse me. But that man shoved sticks and, you know, the broomstick. He shoved it up the asshole up for a lot of y'all. Y'all sat quiet. He raped a lot of y'all mothers in front of some, some of y'all. He would, nobody said shit. 30 years. I'm 25. 30 years. Instead of fighting up him, I said, I know what they did. You're dark skin. I mean, when I, every time I would do it. You light skin, you can't be Sudani. Y'all just so divided, just like, come on, what? Light skin and dark skin. You know, During that whole split of South Sudan, right? After and before, uh, Omar Bashir, 30 years guy, he's wanted, was wanted, for war crimes. Again, I say it again, these wars were not against outsiders. Uh, 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 enemy, no. no. He did... Uh, Ethnic cleansing. His black ass. On other black people. The split of South was always like, y'all too dark. Oh, y'all Arab. Both of y'all niggas. Well, you know why I, I, it burns when it's because of Sudan? I'll tell you this. Some of y'all might know about the pyramid, uh, the ancestors, you know. I see black Americans, like, yeah, the ancient Egypt the ancestors. True. The credit goes to Egypt, modern day Egypt. Egypt has way less pyramids. Now, you go back maybe 100 years or so, something like that, recent times. South Sudan didn't exist. It was Sudan. Sudan and Egypt were one nation. The ancient Egypt they speak of is what? Most of it is in modern Sudan, not Egypt. 
Geezy Pass, the Burmese and Geezy are the big ones. So they get all the limelight, the spotlight. Oh, Geezy, I'm going to Geezy. It's nice tourism. But you see the modern Egyptian, he's not black, most of them. Down in Aswan and whatnot, they're black. They're African features, big lips. You know, I don't have the nose, but nappy hair. They say I'm not black. Oh, what do you mean? <laughs> what am I? Asian? I might be Asian, guys. Konnichiwa. Ni hao. What am I, Puerto Rican? Tell me. Moving on. Let's talk Arabia and black people in Arabia. And slavery. I'm going to show you something today. You're going to learn. Now, I claim Arabia because... Because not only I grew up there, but the Arabian identity, the Arabian personality, you know, is one that you got to be brave. The Arabian has no fear. Even MBS said, fear, the Arabian, his dictionary, the word fear is not in it. What's fear? I never heard of fear. What's that? Is that what the enemy feels? <laughs> I identify with that more. I grew up there, out there, that there's black people, black Arabian. There's, I don't want to say white, but you know, there's all, all the colors. But here's a fun fact. You go back thousands to the beginnings. Everybody from Arabia down to Sudan, Egypt, whatever. They were black, black. They were niggas. <laughs> black niggas, dark skinned niggas, all type of. It was black people. Matter of fact, let me tell you something. Slavery, most of today, the flack of slavery, the heat, or whatever, goes on to white people. That's true. And the Atlantic slave trade, the only reason it is well documented, there's freedom about it. And so much like, y'all did, y'all had us slaves. Chill on the white folks for a second. Because for one, the only reason you get to say that to them is because they, because it's over. Not only is it over, slavery is over. They let you have freedom of speech so you can talk about it and be mad. But what are you solving? You want to know where they got slavery from? The Arabian. Arabian, Arabian, yep. They taught the white man about the Atlantic slave trade. Again, they were black as hell. Now, I don't know, you know, the, Ra the old Arabia before Islam was so angry. It was war 24-7. All day, every day. Swords and war. Arabia was so hostile and angry and just all the time that they say that God chose it for Islam because it needed it. <laughs> Before I left Islam and came back, one of the reasons I left at first was slavery. Because there's things in the Quran and Hadith that doesn't say don't have slaves. 
It just said, <laughs> treat your slave good. Hmm? Or you can have sex with some, but the slave. It did not outlaw it. So I had an issue with that, thinking that these were white people or like Arabs enslaving black people. That later on I researched and I realized these was niggas enslaving niggas. But instead of an ideology of hate, it was like uh, black above white, it wasn't that. That didn't come to later. And the white man learned, and they had to keep that that way. So these ideologies were introduced then. But the Arabians, they didn't have to do any explaining. Slaves came from war, which was 24 hours. This tribe invades that. What do they do? Eliminate all uh, men. Or who identifies men. <laughs> Children, they get left out. Sometimes. Uh, woman, that's just slaves, bro. If you get the man that survived, captured, that's free labor. You work or you chop your head off. That's how slavery was born. It was not about no skin color. It was not importing from Africa. It would literally go invade the neighbor, like gangbangers, go to the odd black. Da da da. Oh, we got him. That's your slave now. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> the house Negro did not exist in Arabia. <laughs> Unless he was a. a you get it? A lot of people going to get mad. Like, you can't focus on a black man. Black. black people enslaved black people. White people enslaved white people as well. It wasn't as common because as nations formed and got civilized, you, know, <laughs> you can't just go invade your neighbor and make them a slave. So you had to get him from overseas. Him being black, you being a different color, it only added to it. But the modern Arabian, the white, whiter skin, these people come from Persia and Jordan, also through wars. There's a lot of black, black Arabian. And most historians and scholars say Prophet Muhammad I was going to say the N-word, but he was black. I'm probably the most influential person out of Arabia since Prophet Muhammad. Now back to Sudan real quick before I end on it. Black Arabians exist, by the way. Arabia is like the U.S. You got black uh, Arabian, black American, white American, white Arabian. All of spectrums. They get done dirty in the system, but, you know, to this day, it might have changed. In Arabia, slavery didn't end. In the U.S., it didn't end either. It became the prison industry. In Arabia, if I'm an immigrant, I have to have a Saudi... I don't even know what's the word. Kafir. It's like a, a sponsor. If you, but you don't sponsor you. It's, an, it's like a nice way of saying slave owner. You're foreign. They get these people from India or whatever to stay and be legit as an immigrant to work or whatever. You got to have the slave owner. To have him, you got to pay him 
an amount yearly, monthly. That depends with you and him. If you're lucky, your slave owner is a company. You know, let's say you were brought in by a company. They got that figured out. If you're not so lucky, your slave owner might be a drug addict. You agreed on X amount per year, but he comes to you one night and he needs his fix. And he asks you for money that's outside the contract. You're like, what? And he beat your ass. Plot twist. Both of y'all black. <laughs> but I'm just trying to tell you that that's just the remainings of the old system. Go watch my last video. Slavery was never about black or white or whatever. It was an economic project. Born out of war, kept for free labor, it's cheap. Watch the last. Uh, in Sudan, the people that, you know, you don't know if they we built pyramids, but that ancient Egyptian galactic black civilization, the mother of all civilization, you know, the one, our credit goes to Egyptians. Modern day are not even related to. It. I'm from Sudan, in Chindi, middle of nowhere. No one heard of it. There's a lot of pyramids there. That's way more than Egypt, just in Chindi. And the people got conditioned to be NPCs. The stereotype of the Sudani man in Arabia in the Middle East is lazy and stupid. And the way it looks, maybe it's not lazy, but stupid for sure. If they are educated and enlightened, they are by the... They get their certificate from the slave master. Not outside the box. They don't think, and, oh, we did. Nah. When I tell them we did, I'm the bad guy. So fuck Sudan. Fix your own problem. Don't, I don't, I'm too light skinned, remember? And yes, there's black Arabians. I reserve my right to the N word, bitch ass nigga. Fuck out my face. Me saying the N word ain't, ain't your issue. 6ix9ine said it. Go to him. Fight something that matters. Um, me saying the N word. <laughs> Like, that's the issues we got. And I fight the issues we got. But nobody can focus on my N-word. Nigga, fuck you. Hit like, smash, subscribe. Tell these niggas suck my dick. In a video game. <laughs>